Hi everyone, let's start with golf. It's championship Friday at the Lethbridge Country Club for the Canadian Women's Amateur Tournament. Aria Gentanacan opened up a huge lead on day three, firing a course record 65. Heading into the final day, it was sister, young, our younger sister, that is, Mariah, who was on fire today. Here's her tee shot on the par three 16th. It is lovely, and that set her up nicely for this birdie attempt, and she gets it to go. That puts her at four under on the day. Here's Kimberly Kaufman now on 18. At six under. Right there with a nice approach shot. She tapped in for par and finished in third spot in the tournament. She's American. 14-year-old Brooke Henderson for birdie on 18. She drained it, finishes the three under on the day and for the championship. Way to go, Brooke. Yeah. And here is your leader now, Aria Gentanacan with the long birdie putt. There she is. Just hits the lip stays out, and she would have to settle for her par. Aria finishes at 14 under to claim the Royal Cup. Hard to believe she's just 16 years old. Her sister Mariah went four under on the day to finish second at seven under. The top Canadian was Brooke Henderson, as we just saw, finishing fifth at three under par. Excited, you know, like, because last day I'm paying not very good, but I still, like, win. <laughs> How does this prepare you for next week in the P Junior PGA? Oh, you know, like I have my experience, like I have to fix my driver a lot. Uh, you know, my putting is is work today is better, and I can I can mix like I mean more more birdie today. We saw some low low numbers this week from these girls at the Canadian Amateur, and the spectators who were at the course were treated to some top quality golf. The grounds crew did a remarkable job. The rough was thick as deep as four inches in many places. Many members wondered if the course was set up too tough. The head pro says he's surprised by the scores that were turned in this week. Uh, you know what, I was uh, surprised on, on how good these, I don't even want to say ladies, because a lot of them are, are still girls, but it was unbelievable. I mean, to showcase talent like this, especially in Southern Alberta, we don't get this every day. And I think a lot of people were genuinely surprised on how good these girls are. And there's no rest for many of these players. They'll be in Fort Wayne, Texas on Tuesday for the 37th Junior PGA Championship. Summer coming for the Junior Girls Canadian Championship starting at River Spirit next week in Calgary. The Lethbridge Bulls hit the road for the final time this regular season. Tonight they're in Edmonton to take on the struggling Edmonton prospects at just 6-33 and 33 in the season. There are just three games left on the regular season schedule. The Bulls sit tied with Okotoks at four games back of Medicine Hut for top spot. A win would certainly help with playoffs looming. First pitch goes in Edmonton at 7.05. Now to the Alberta Summer Games. They're in full swing. A number of sports being played, including this one. This is kayak polo, which I didn't even know existed until this very moment. It's one of the many sports on display this weekend as the Alberta Summer Games takes over the city. It's full contact water polo played in what else? Kayaks. If it looks extremely difficult, that's because it is. Officials hope to grow the game going forward. Definitely seem to be pretty stoked on it. Um, we got some music playing and, you know, we're not necessarily serious as, I don't know, the football guys or whatever. So a little more relaxed atmosphere and, you know, the kids are all smiles and loving it. So, you know, that's what you hope for, right? Two athletes from the Lethbridge Track Club are up against the best in the country this weekend. Alyssa Wall is racing short sprints at the Junior Nationals track meet. Joy Spear Chief Morris is competing in the 1500. The competition runs this weekend in Winnipeg. Both ladies say track is a passion. They encourage people of all ages to try out. Well, track is a good sport to get into. It's a lot of fun for the summer and spring and keeps you fit all year round pretty much. And it's one of those sports where you don't have to be a specific age to start. You can yeah. basically start at any age and you can go to whatever age. Like there's people in the Olympics who are competing who are like 40 and 50. Both Spear Chief and Wall plan to continue their track careers in university next year. Wall will be at the U of L.